But first, as the world continues to mourn the loss of global rock star David Bowie, people around the world have been paying tribute to the star. Well, we're going to cross now to New York and speak to Susie Ronson, who was responsible for dyeing his hair mm -hmm. red, ultimately creating his Ziggy Stardust alter ego. So, good morning, Susie. Good Lovely morning, to Susie. talk to you. I'm sorry it's under these circumstances. And this came as a, as a big shock to you. It did. It did come as a shock. I'd heard that David hadn't been well, but I didn't know he was going to die. I mean, look at the body of work he's put out in the last couple of years. Yeah. Mm. That doesn't seem like an unwell man. And the worst thing is, of course, that the, the, the way that these things can be broken, you were actually told by the media, phoning you up and asking for a comment. At three in the morning, uh, when I saw a United Kingdom number, I immediately thought of my daughter. And when I picked up, it was, it was yes, it was the media telling me. Well, David had died. Must have been a horrible so shock sorry to you. hear that. Let's uh, let's look shock. at uh, let's look at um, at much happier times and go back to to, yes. to, the, to the moment that big change in in him um, and uh, and in his appearance. And it was because did you do his his mum's hair? I did his mother's hair in a local salon in Beckenham, and she introduced me to Angie, who in turn introduced me to David. And so he and came. And that's when I met. And he came. Oh no, he didn't come to the salon. No, no, I <laughs> he, went to the home. I went to Haddon Hall. He went when you saw him. David. He had a he had a photograph uh, with a, with a very distinct image of this sort of red hair of what he wanted it to look like. Exactly. We discussed it, and he said, "What do you think?" And um, everyone had long hair at that time. Mark Bolan had long hair. Everyone had long hair. I thought it was a great idea because, as a stylist, when you look at a face, I mean, David was beautiful. He was long, slim neck alabaster skin. It was perfect for red hair yeah. and perfect for really short hair too. And, uh, and so, so we when cut the, it off that night. When, when you were doing that, I mean, there's an element of responsibility in changing, <laughs> changing something like that. It's terrifying. I mean, it was, it was, I was scared to death, but I knew I could do it. I was a very, you know, I was a, I'm good at cutting hair. Well, it, I looked, knew I could it, do it. it looked amazing. It, 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 they're iconic shots and oh, remain absolutely. so today. Um, uh, and then, of course, you, uh, you went on the road. You ended up being probably one of, one of music's first female roadies. I think I was. Chrissy Hines said that to me once. She said, I think you were the first girl roadie. So what and was, I was, and it was what was it like? the most wonderful experience of my life. Was it amazing? It was amazing. Because it was... Being completely inexperienced, I kind of thought, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't expect it to take off like that. I mean, it was one minute we were playing to small clubs, and the next it was very large audiences. It was very exciting. And, and knowing him the way that you did at that time, was he very different to the kind of man he portrayed? What was he like a, as a person? Very artistic. Very driven by his art. Very focused on what he was doing. I mean, I think back now, it's such a shame. I mean, Mick, Woody, now David. No, not Woody, sorry. Mick, Trevor, and now David all died of cancer. Mm -hmm. Lou's gone. I mean, there's not many of us left from that era, of that intimate group around David at that time. And what an era he was... it was as well, because you, um, you say that... I, I can't imagine the lifestyle, really, for you, you know, as the hairdresser, and then suddenly, bam, this happens. But you've got something like uh, the Beverly Hills Hotel for three weeks, the plaza in New yes. York for two weeks, touring the world, seeing it all, doing it all. With a rock band. I mean, who could ask for anything better than that? It was a wonderful experience. And of course, I remember my boss said to me when I gave my notice in, she said, don't you worry about security, Suzanne? I said, no, I'm not worried <laughs> about security. Uh, uh, well, in, well, in fact, actually, it did lead to a sort of sense of security because that's where you, you met Mick. And then, then that whole life husband, started yes. as well. Yeah, that's right. It's true. Yeah. Well, an amazing I'm just so guitar. sorry. They're, they're gone. They're both yeah. gone. You know, it's, it's so sad. And, uh, and he, I mean, Mick, Mick Ronson, his right-hand man, really, wasn't he? They had such a close working Oh, he was. They did a lot of albums together and they toured together and, you know, yes. And at that, I think, at that moment in time, that, that early 70s, when David, I mean, had, he'd had some success with Space Oddity, but he, he really was launched in, during that period of time when Mick was with him. Mm. And he calls he's done, you... He's left an amazing body of work, don't you think? Yeah, that, without question, without uh, question. And when you lost Mick, he called you, didn't he, David? And he was obviously yeah, devastated. he did. He, 
Yeah, he was crying. He was crying. He was. I wonder now. I bet he was thinking about Mick in this last, you know, year or so. Mm -hmm. He must have thought about him because, like him, Mick did an album, Heaven to Hull, when he was diagnosed with cancer. And look at what David did, mm. Lazarus. Look at his Black Star album. I mean, mm. it's amazing what you can do. What what well, some people can do when they're dying of a terminal illness. Mm. Would you ever have, uh, have believed in the, all those years ago that you'd still be talking about that red haircut now? I would never have believed it. I mean, <laughs> I often say that to people. I can't believe we're still talking about this. I can't <laughs> believe that David has maintained this huge stardom. He's so famous still, so, so relevant and continues to be relevant. He's always groundbreaking in his artistic abilities. Well, really Susie, an amazing artist. Uh, as I said at the beginning, I'm so sorry we're talking under yeah, these circumstances. So we really appreciate you, uh, you talking to us today. Thank you very yeah, thank much. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks, you. Susie. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you.